Hello, everybody. My name is Carlos Alberto Navarro. I'm Megan Elizabeth Navarro. And we are Meglos. Oh, thank you for joining us. This is an ASRP That's version not. of it. Hello. It's ASMR. ASMR. I am Carlos Navarro. I'm Megan Navarro. And we are Meglos. Oh. Gross. That, that was, was gross, right? Gross. Yeah, you but it's funny. Ha ha. Hello, everybody. If you're listening to us on the podcast, how cool is this? The first real Meg Lose podcast. Boom, boom. Yo, yo. But if you're watching this on YouTube or the other million platforms, it's good to see you too because we can see through the TV. We got the extra package where we actually see through the TV. I see what you're doing right now. Stop it. What? Not you. Oh, my God. You tripped me out. I was like, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm that good of an actress. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. <laughs> you got me. I was like, uh, we can cut this at any time. <laughs> it's not live. Hey, if this is the first time you're joining us. Well, thank you, because uh, I don't know how you found out about us, if you didn't hear about us, because we're just getting out there in the world of podcasting. We have been doing a Meglo show for a very long time, years, years, when back in the day, back in the day when you had... The Periscope. Periscope was the jam. You remember Periscope? Oh, it was a hoot. Oh, my God. We used to do shows there, Meglos. It was so much fun. So much. And then we advanced to... Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Oh, my God. Not only did it advance in our lives. Damn. That was crazy, man. It was freaking uh, changing the world. And we were part of it. And then things happened. Then we went to YouTube. We went to, well, I mean, yeah, we went to YouTube. Yeah. And YouTube's a whole nother world, let me tell you. <laughs> Bunch of different things out there. And now, here in the To The Top studio, We're back on YouTube and we're on Spotify. Yeah, we're on Spotify as well, which is crazy because that was one of the first services that we had. I know, right? Yeah. How crazy is that? Yeah, it Look is pretty that. crazy. And so it kind of is, is very cool that Megalos is also on Spotify. This literally started as a uh, us getting drunk as hell many nights. Many a nights. And just talking bullshit yeah. on, uh, on, on... I on, do not want to see those old that old footage. I do. <laughs> I do. No, I don't go back and look at anything really. No, well, we really don't have any of uh the periscope stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'll randomly like a memory will pop up on Facebook and it'll be an old Megalo show. Like when we were yeah, I don't think you were drunk on Facebook. You had quit drinking by that point, but I was definitely drunk on many of them. Yeah. So I'm like, look at me, young and free. I know, and it wasn't like <laughs> it wasn't you know, even that long and, ago. And here's the crazy thing. It was after our daughter went to bed, you know. Mm -hmm. And she never woke up. Now nah, the bitch can't go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were outside on our pool. Yeah, we did. Uh, Not on our pool. Uh, you know, do it mostly on our, our pool. But here we are. We're back. We're back. We're and back, it, bitches. And I think stronger than ever because. So much stronger. I'm, I, for my God. sure, am in way better of a space than I was at all before. Like yeah. so much better mentally, physically, just I, I, I way better. I can, I'll vouch for that, that a thousand percent. And I'm so happy and proud of you. I've and worked really hard. You thank really you. have. And I'm very proud of myself. And I appreciate you also being proud of me and being my cheerleader. Well, honey, <laughs> look, I appreciate I've, you saying that. Look, we do. I've been your cheerleader for a long time. A long time. You've always had my back. You've always believed in me. And, um, and I'm just so happy to see you like be the person that you're becoming and that you are. And because it's it, the one a, that was just down inside well, of me yeah, and I just couldn't As find. a husband, I always upset me when, I mean, not upset. Yeah. It upset me if you were upset made you and, sad. and made me sad. Yeah. That's probably better because it's like, I know who you are. You're one of the strongest people that I know. You're so talented. You're so good. You're such a like. In reality, I'm like, you're a better person than me. Why the hell am I getting all this stuff? Like, why do I get it? Like, you're way more disciplined than me. You're, But just like most females, and I'm not saying that like out of like my opinion. I, I believe you're it. sexist. I'm a fucking sexist, you motherfucker. Listen, <laughs> what the fuck is Lowe's going to say about women? And I'll tell you right now, if he pulls some Jordan Peterson shit, oh. I will fucking bust his ass. Sorry, Becky. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Becky, that's our pissed off YouTuber commenter. Yeah, Becky. But I actually, we, I have a commenter, uh, not a comment. Not a commenter, a subscriber named Becky that I really love. So it's not all Beckys. I Jesus know. Christ! <laughs> I know, but I feel bad when you say Becky. Let's change but your name. Listen, if you fucking change my name, Carlos, my name is Becky, short for Becca. <laughs> and if you fucking change it, Carlos, you're a fucking sexist. I will not change it, Becky. I respect Becky, but what I'm saying is this: women beat themselves up a mm -hmm. lot, a mentally. Doctors say. <laughs> up to 60% more. Isn't that crazy? Doctors say up to 60 I, that Well, man, not, not just regular your fucking physician down the street. You know, I was asked from <laughs> third base. But, <laughs> but people who who um, who study this shit, neuroscientists, they yeah. know they, they test people and they and 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 it and it, it all breaks down to fucking just how we were created. Mm -hmm. You guys have just have to worry about way more things. So, so many more things. Periods. <laughs> babies. All of it. Households, most household duties. Wrinkles are better on guys than girls. Yeah. Too. Well, yeah. you know, some women depends. embrace them. Yeah, it depends. Um, I think that um, you have come a long way. So where are you at now for the people who haven't watched one of our other 47 ways? Well, I've essentially cured myself of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is honestly no, something not to fuck around with because people t less than back eight here. I know. And if you fucking talk about mental health in a way that <laughs> upsets me, I will fucking write YouTube a letter and I'll say you need to take him off. Well, I hate to say that word cured because, you know, that's a like for you statement personally. For you're speaking. You're not doing a fucking group study for you personally. Yeah, I literally basically cured myself of my anxiety without medication uh i took myself off of medication and i got myself i would go in and out of depressions and it had a lot to do with what we talked about on to the top with purpose i was struggling finding my purpose mm -hmm. and once i found my purpose once i felt myself understand that and then i got myself getting healthier sleeping better stopped drinking as much it just all started clicking for me. I don't know that noise I just No, made. it's a clicking noise, a good clicking <laughs> noise. I mean, you and click. uh <laughs> double and, A MCL. Yeah, and it all just kind of well, meditation was huge for me also. There were yeah, well, so got healthy. many things. Yeah, I I worked on my mindset, worked on my in, inside and out, and I essentially have made myself feel the best that I've felt basically my whole adult life. Well, yeah. 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 yeah, and 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 I think I'm so happy about that because it's I it's supercharged us. I think. Yeah, I, I think don't so. think we'd be doing this right now. I know this wouldn't be looking. I think it it could have happened. We willed ourselves to many things that during times that we probably couldn't have right or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck that means. But I think you being well, I could mentally only fake it for so yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a better. You know, yeah. like uh, I because the. I didn't wasn't like I was completely faking it. Like no, I, I'm no, genuinely no. happy, but I would still have about those. forty percent of the time. It would it would hover where you would go good days and good days, yeah. and then but there was no foundation. You didn't have a foundation, and that's what you and know. I couldn't figure out when the bad days happened, right, why right. they were happening, why I felt that way, and I would just call you crying. Yeah, and and. Uh, and that was tough. Like, and I and I didn't want Lennon seeing that. Like, I tried to hide as much as I could from Lennon, but I've also told her my, some of my struggles in a kid friendly way, sure, yeah. you know, so that she understands um, that you got to work on yourself and you can't give up on yourself. Yeah, no doubt. And I'm so happy about that for many reasons, but just I'm happy for you because um, it's tough being a wife and a mother and, and being around me all the time and, 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 and doing it at a high level. You weren't some slack ass, you know, not doing anything. Yeah. Me, I always you made were sure always, the house was in order. I always absolutely. made sure that you had a million, making dinner, yeah, doing all it, that. It, it doing was almost work. too much where you were it, with, I, I think a lot of women do go for it, Carlos. I will <laughs> fucking go for it. What do women do? You tell me. <laughs> A male, 38-year-old male, what women do. Becky? Chill out, Becky. Chill the he's fuck out, Becky. He's getting to it. I know he's annoying, but just just. <laughs> How do you marry this motherfucker? I don't know. Uh, half the time I ask oh, myself the same thing. He is gross. 
I'm sorry, Becky. The YouTube pissed off commenter. All right, here's the deal. Women, you guys put so much pressure on yourself because you it, it, it's part of your brain. You've been generation upon generation upon generation Listen, upon okay. generation upon generation has said, keep a nice household. Do these feminine, womenly, married wife things. And you have to do it at this level that, that has to show it off for everybody else. And it's a lot of pressures. And and um, that and so that's you're like built with that. That's mm -hmm. in you. Mm hmm. And um, not saying about everybody, but but I think you put just it work too much. on yourself if you're struggling. Yeah, I think that's the main thing because we're not we're not here to talk about me and my. Hey, we got into it. <laughs> I know I did not. I was not expecting. We to have no. It. OK, so if you haven't seen our All other entities, let, let me tell you this. Okay, we got to wrap that up and the anxiety. Look, you're, you haven't taken Xanax <laughs> in how long? Uh, maybe a month and a half. Two a months. month and a half. Yeah, it's been a while. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's crazy, right? Yeah. And I was taking my prescription every day. Wow. That's for impressive. For years and, and years. It, you and got years. it through meditation. You got it through eating better. You got it through working out. You got it through finding your purpose. These yeah. are all, it's not, there's no magic pill. It's all, but, but it's. Oh, I'm sweating so bad. You don't look like you're sweating. Well. <laughs> If uh, you're watching this, the studio. I'm going to crack a beer open real quick. It's hot in here because we got to turn the AC off. That's oh, beer. That just. <laughs> Hell wasn't. yeah. I drink beer. No, nope, I don't drink beer it's anymore. It's hot though. It's hot in here. We I don't find it that hot. Oh my God. I'm sweating. I don't find it that hot. Well, lucky you. Lucky for you. I'm not even sweating. You know when I stopped sweating? When you stopped eating horribly. Yeah, and when I lost like, I don't know, 35 pounds, <laughs> all of a sudden I'm like, I don't that, sweat as much anymore. It's amazing what that extra weight will do for you. Yeah, I know what it did for me, but now I'm as good looking as ever, obviously. The, Just kidding. Jesus Christ. The most good looking. So, um, so you want to know something funny? What? We did a whole show yesterday, mm -hmm. and we had such a funny topic. Yeah, the t and the funny topic was yeah, we did a whole show yesterday testing out our t all technical a technical run and it um, wasn't, but we didn't realize it was a technical run until yeah we thought we were not hoping it we thought it was the first kind of Meglos go but our video would just look like shit <laughs> so we we'll probably released the podcast but as a podcast because uh, obviously some of y'all are watching this on video and uh, some of y'all are listening to this. On uh, Spotify. On Spotify, yeah. Yeah, so I think we're going to put it up regardless, uh, just the audio of it, because mm -hmm. it was good. It was funny, because you're insane about our dog, Alan Bear. Okay, so there's something that's happened that I don't know if I'm... Con I, it's, I consciously did it or whatever, for many reasons, I guess, but I, I, I canceled our dog's neutering appointment, Alan. We have a gigantic Labradoodle who's almost 100 pounds. And he's one of those dogs that you see on Instagram that like somebody's holding and they're so gigantic, but they look like a big teddy bear. That's our dog. Yeah. You can go to To The Top Carlos to see many pictures or at Megan Navarro to see the pictures. He's yeah. adorable. He's adorable. Uh, he, <laughs> Carlos went to go get the mail yesterday. Okay. So here's one thing that most people do not know about Alan Bear. He does not like most people. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not. He, he he'll looks. Yeah, he looks like a big old teddy bear. He, but so he's more just take, like a regular bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we take him in public and we take him like to a farmer's market or Home Depot or anything like that. Yeah. People we take him out a lot. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my God, he's beautiful. And they and run they, right up to him. Yeah. They want to literally like immediately reach down to pet him. Uh huh. Alan Bear doesn't like that. No, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa what are you doing? He will bark. And, and to he'll back go, you off and he'll kind of and he gets scared shit out of people because yeah, he turns he into a bite. He goes from Allen Bear to Bear Bear. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so he's never bit anyone. He's not, and he's not no, aggressive. No, he's not aggressive. But he's just like, yo, back, back up. up. I need my fucking space. Yeah. And um and but he's not aggressive at all to other dogs. He'll immediately no. he just wants to play with all the other dogs. Uh, but yesterday you were going to check the mail. And so we let Alan Bear go out front with you. And he's just there not on a leash. And a lady drives by in a minivan. She rolls down her window and she's like, your dog is adorable. What kind of dog is that? <laughs> and Alan Bear runs up to the side of the van. And he basically, his face is at the uh, at the van. window. Yeah. Like he is yeah. like as tall as her window. Yeah. 
and he, he barks and he and, and, and he, she's like oh his and he's bark like is, get out of he's basically like what is this big box talking to us <laughs> his and, bark is so scary if you haven't heard it before yeah. like if you know if, if it's the first time you hear his bark you're like holy it's shit it's loud and so and then he proceeds to chase the van and he's fast as hell yeah like so he starts basically going. catching up with her and I'm like get over here I run <laughs> with him every day almost every day and uh, he loves it, and I love it. Um, but he's super strong and super fast. And uh, in fact, he knocked over Megan. And I'll pop it in right here in the video. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and the other day, and cracked your head, and that was pretty cool. He didn't crack my head. He gave me a big chichong. Yeah, you gotta give you a chichong. <laughs> and um, and so uh, so anyway, he's if a cool wanna, dog. Yeah, he is cool. And uh, he's a cool look- dog, and I and I've never we've never had a boy dog like this either. We've never had a boy dog, period. And so I, this is exactly the dog that I want, big and play, and and he's changed our lives. It's awesome. So he's a boy, and he got some big old balls. He's packing. This is a this is a this is a stud. Okay, Alan Bear is a stud. You see him all the time. Just really good looking people in the streets. You're one of those. People will stop you. I mean, you're just one of those beauties. And and I Alan, get whistled at when I bike ride. I've never been whistled at. <laughs> oh, you fucking idiot. No. No, I just I, I just kinda look like a dick. Mm-hmm. You do look like a dick. Sometimes I You are that. a dick. Yeah. You're so full of yourself. You know about my dick. <laughs> <laughs> we have sex because we're married. Oh my god. Um so, so anyway, I had a neutering appointment for Alan and I called and I canceled it and then I rescheduled it and then I called up and rescheduled that one and he's about a year and a some couple m- months. and a couple months old and oh my God, are you serious? Do you understand that if you have a dog and you get him neutered after a year, it's like the worst thing in the world. You should be fucking jail, Carlos. Yeah. We get it, Becky, mad YouTube commenter. We fucking get it. But the fact is you're not a vet. And the vet says oh, it's perfectly her, fine. Her friend is a vet. My fucking friend <laughs> is a vet tech? And she knows more about veterinary and stuff than you ever fucking learned, Carla. I'm writing YouTube. <laughs> Becky is crazy. So uh, if you want to hear more about all of this hoopla that Carlos is so insistent on and our plans for Alan Bear. Listen to the next episode because Ooh. yeah. Oh, you're going to, you're going to, we're doing a cliffhanger. Yeah. A total cliffhanger because why go into it right now? It's in the next episode. I'm with you. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah. Meglos with cliffhanger. Boom. Bakara. Boom. Yeah. I mean, is it that intriguing? Think? I think so. I think. Well, I don't want to re-say it because, I, you know, we've already said the story once okay. and it, it, it loses its, you know. I, I'm a performer. I could play it just the same. Um, anything else you want to say? Uh, is it raining? My God. <gasps> I've been wanting it to rain all day. Oh, I think that's just wind. Yeah, it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain. Yeah. So what's going on in your world, man? Oh, well, a lot of stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I am in the midst of being the talent for 16 shows. <laughs> yeah, me too. You're the president. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so the president to the top. Thank you. Um no, I feel good. I feel um You've been working out like legit, man. What does that mean? Hmm? I mean Yeah, I I'm in the I'm uh yeah, I'm in the best shape of my life, I think. Oh my god, I'm in the best mental space. Hey, I'm and not you're trying to fucking shape. brag, but you know what happens when you give up drinking and you give up <laughs> other things that make you eat a lot? I need not give it up. Best. I'm not perfect. I'm not fucking. I know. Perfect. No. I still dabble. In you what? know, in the green arts. Oh yeah, I'm not okay. in drinking. My God. No, 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 no. For any of those who don't know, I gave up drinking. I don't know a long time ago. I really am. I think drinking is similar to. Oh my God! What is he gonna fucking say right now, <laughs> Becky? Becky. <laughs> We're far from perfect. So far, but. 
we are really trying our best just to be the best we can be and make ourselves feel as good as we can feel for ourselves, yeah. for each other, yeah. and for our daughter, and for the people around us. And if you've been watching us this entire time, whether it be on Periscope or all the other uh, forms. You've seen the mess. You've seen <laughs> My God. We we put it all out there. Yeah. I mean, so if you're listening and was one like, or watching and like, okay, we get it. You're in the best shape of your life, Carlos. Like, okay. So yeah, I'm not fucking ashamed to say that. I worked hard for it. But I've also been in those points where I look down and I'm like... <laughs> Oh, God, that is so... I hate... Okay, what? it's one thing when you do that noise. It's another thing when you do that whole, like, body what? with it. The with whole the thing? The eyes and the face and the, like, shrinking down like you that. I re- Like, that is a turn mm. off. You know how you said that the, a little bit earlier you wanted to fuck me good tonight? Yeah. That does not make me want to fuck you good tonight. All right. <laughs> All right. So, ex nay on the whole fart thing. All right. I am going to never do that again. Yeah, it's really raining. I wonder if you can hear that. Um, it's a stormy day here at the Megalo Studios. Yeah, it is. And uh, go figure that on the day of the first real Megalos podcast. <laughs> it's like rain <laughs> on your Megalos day. It's a real life podcast today. It's a husband wife. Oh my gosh, I heard that you can't even like sing those songs or you'll get like a copyright Tag? strike. Yeah. Whoa. Who, the and that sounds just like Alanis Morissette. I know, though. but the beauty guru that I watch all the time, Tati, she was getting copyright strikes and she would like randomly barely sing or say lyrics from songs and she said that she's been getting copyright wow. strike constantly. Well, we'll see. We'll see because it's, I think that's a pretty good Alanis Morissette. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's it's this LaCroix. Have, I love LaCroix. Only this flavor, though, which is no flavor. Yeah, I don't like it that much. I I'll think this is it. nothing but class when you drink a LaCroix. You know that's what I think is class? You know what I think is class? Tell me. When you go to a restaurant mm-hmm. and you order either sparkling water or flat water, that. When they ask you, you mean? Yeah. Well, A, when you ask when they ask you and B, when you say yes, that that's what you want. I, I love, feel yeah. like that's like that's when you're like fancy class. Kanye West also believes that he has a line in his song. I love them hoes. Yeah, I believe where he song. says you ain't fancy ordering sparkling water. You ain't never ordered sparkling water before. Well, like how, well, how does that mean that he does think that that's fancy? Because. If he's saying that he's thinking then like, you, you know, you got to this level where you're ordering sparkling water. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, at I, least that's how I connected with that beautiful song with Lil Pump. I ordered flat water when I was with my parents in Atlanta and I had no idea what that even meant. And uh-huh. they brought out like a whole bottle of like water for me. Like what? This fancy I thought bo- flat water was just tap water. No, there's tap water, flat water and sparkling water. Oh. Listen, I'm not a water connoisseur. Although I should be because they're drinking enough of you it. You drink a lot more water than I do. But I just I, drink tap water or refrigerator water, mm-hmm. you know, which is essentially like tap water because we don't change yeah. our filter. But you got to. But uh, this water was I looked at the bill. It was like $20. I did not mean to order that, but I felt fancy drinking it. We're only going to drink sparkling water from here on out. No, I don't need carbonation in my water. I do. I, like I the only like carbonation when I mix it with some vodka, which I rarely do yes. anymore. Hello, Megan. It is me, Dimitri. I am your YouTube watcher in Russia. I do want to get that filtration system, though. Yeah, I want to get it, too. That's real fancy. It is. That's real fancy. When you get to the point... If you're watching this and you can leave a comment, let us know if you have a water filtration system. Yeah, because we want to get it because we hear that it's like you're bathing in, like, silk pearls. Yeah, because it's not just, like, I know you can get, like, the Brita, like, filter water and all that stuff, but I want it, I need it for, I want it for my hair, I Mm -hmm. want, you know, when you wash your face, you're Mm -hmm. using tap water, that's just, like, whatever. No, I mean, I don't ever drink tap water, I guess I do when I take my pill in the morning. And also, when we don't change the filter in our refrigerator. But it feels different when you get it from the refrigerator. Sure, because it's cold. Well, I want to get it. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure people are like, you don't need that. You're just fine. But I tested the pH, our water pH, and it does not say. We have say, a pH tester. Yeah, and our water He's is big. not He's good. He's Asian. He's got a big mustache. 
It's very cute. That's our pH tester. <laughs> totally not. But it was shocking when I tested it, and our thing was like. Pretty much there was through the roof or pH. We should be robots by now. That's how much <laughs> iron we're taking in. I don't even know what pH is. I don't. But I know it's supposed to be about 5.7. I think it's 7.4. Some Somewhere people say 8.7. I don't know. <laughs> Some people say what? 8.7. Oh. 6.9. 6.9. 6.9. Nine. <laughs> Can we talk about 69? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> First show back, we're going to go into 69 <laughs> Uh, no, we'll wait for a later episode. And our daughter cannot listen to it. Oh, my, my God. God. Because we have some wonderful opinions of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Honestly. Do you know Jaclyn Hill? Um, She did a, like a bedroom tour. Mm-hmm. And she has this thing in like she has a makeup area in her bedroom that's like super fancy. Like her house is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And it's a 69 thing. Oh, really? Yeah, and she was like, because it's the best position. Or so, she was like, because you're too, if you're not 69, I don't know. She said, made some comment about 69, and I was like, oh, my God. Hey, man. If you're too young, if you're too, I mean, too young, if you're too old, and you think the joke 69, you don't laugh at it, you're too old. I guess I didn't say that right. No, I don't think you said it right. I didn't. It's all right. Um, Look, how long can we talk for? We can talk for all day, huh? We talk all day, every day together. And Do what? you ever get sick of talking to me? No. Aw, I don't get sick of talking to you either. <laughs> I think at times I've definitely been, you've definitely been sick of talking to me. In fact, you've screamed at me, get the fuck out of my face. Things like this. Yeah. In the past. So mm-hmm. I know you have been tired of talking to me. I, I know I get tired of talking to me. <laughs> yeah. But then I always go back to you and I want to talk to you some more. As I love you. Stop. What? <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. I'm just saying. Oh. I'm be talking about 69 and everything. You started that. talking oh, about yeah. that. That's true. Oh. I guess I did. Oh, my God. Um, I think that um, it's pretty amazing that we're able to do this. So uh, we had a question come in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's me. Um, Rebecca. What the fuck are you guys talking about? 69ing? Are you like 12 years old? Like, stop talking about it. You're a married couple. Have some dignity. Have some respect. (laughs) Fuck. Becky's right. We shouldn't talk about sex. We're married. We're not supposed to talk about it at all. It's wrong. It's wrong. Sex is bad. I'm Pastor Bill, the YouTube commenter, and, uh, I'm a very straight, straight home. I mean, uh, I love chicks. Can you go more into the 69 part? Gross. Oh my God. Delete that YouTube comment. Oh, my. <laughs> we're, we're, we're catching the YouTube comments before they're even made. Yeah. Um, our daughter's getting to the age that she can watch and listen to these things. But she, we tell her all the time, like, hey, look. Mommy and daddy are real. We're 100. <laughs> Emoji. She likes to listen to the to the top. She can listen to to the top. Yeah. That's for families. This is not. Meglos I'll tell you right now. Meglos is for not for kids. kids. <laughs> it's for it's grown never ass. Been. It's never been and it never, never will. will be. We have very, we are all have different dimensions to us. You can watch to the top. We talk about. You know, purpose and life and mornings and, and, and that's for everybody. Growth mindset, baby. Growth mindset. And yeah, there'll be some cursing in there, but come on. Minimal. Minimal. If you hear a to the top invites, depending on the guest. There'll be a little disclaimer if it gets to a disclaimer. Uh, because there's definitely some conversation that I want to have with everybody. I'm, you know. You watch my YouTube channel? It's family. Family friendly. Family. <laughs> um. Meglo show. Meglo show. Not, not family. family friendly. Oh, that would have been so okay, good. Okay, ready? Meglo show. Not, not family friendly. friendly. And that's what's going to be in the title of this very first Meglo show. Oh yeah, that's good. Meglo show. Not, not family, family friendly. friendly. That's good. That's good. That's honestly really good <laughs> for like a shirt too. Oh, we. Sh- oh my god. We should do a Meglo shirt. This not family, family friendly. friendly. 
<laughs> I don't know if that's good that like we're like, laughing about it. Well, I mean, think about it. We do a bunch but, of and shit. There's, and look, there's rated R movies. Obviously, course. they're not fucking family friendly. Yes. Like, there's nothing wrong with having. No, this and is, you can. We we're on all the platforms, so you can see all the sides of us. Right, and and the my favorite artist ever is Tupac Shakur. Oh my okay? god! And the thing I the loved about Tupac, that you bring him up. Is he's a prophet woman he who died your, when he was like 23. Exactly, all the greats go Barely young. Barely anything even happened in his life. Like, are you insane? <laughs> how dare you? Like, like, how dare you say anything about it's Tupac? Just, it, it, Listen, he had many dimensions to him. Don't you dare step in this. You don't want to go there. You don't want to oh, go I'll there. I'll go there. I'll, I'll go. battle Ready? you. People get scared of you. I'm the one person oh, really? that never is fucking scared oh, of you. Oh, really? Ever. Oh, no. Huh? I'm not scared of any comment that you oh. fucking make. I'm not scared if you shut down. I'm oh. not scared. I'll come at you. Yeah. Go huh? back huh? with you. What if I just slam you out? Huh? <laughs> and to the top studios, lawless land. We do what we want. Honestly, when I graduated there, I wanted to like throw you down my yeah, glove too. Oh my god! Yeah, whatever. You know. Um, look, we have many dimensions to us, and I think we've lived in a two-dimensional world, one-dimensional world for too long as a ma- like married people, you know, and just people in general, man. We fucking just think you, you just judge somebody by one aspect of them. We all do it. I'm not saying I'm any better. But, like, there's so many dimensions to us. There's so many layers to us if you allow it to explore. Yeah, I am definitely someone that's going to stop judging people so much. And I don't judge. I mean, like, that sounds, like, bad. Like, oh, God, what a bitch. You just judge We all judge. Yeah, and most of the time, like, you don't know anything about the the person or you know some that you don't know that much uh-huh. i don't know but i just i know no, we, we gotta judge. focus on ourselves more yes. than we worry about other people just focus on yourself focus on yourself man no I'm because d- it's not it's not good to put out in the universe the, the judging anyone even if it's not I'll like i say judging like just it doesn't have to just be making yeah. a, a, a small assumptions opinion. yeah well i mean look there are things in life that you have to go through and interactions and meetings where you got to kind of have an assumption of judgment of whatever. But I think when you harbor on it is the worst, Mm -hmm. you you know, allow yourself to have that for me as a comedian or somebody who's always looking to make a joke or whatever, like comedy lies between the truth of that. And, and judgment is truth at times. So many people make mean assumptions about you. Oh, yeah. Look, I mean, I'm, there's a bunch of people. that Yeah. Off. Well, it's really fucking easy <laughs> because he is an asshole. And he's his, always on his always high horse. On his high horse. And I think Carlos is just a fucking idiot. He's just constantly preaching. Constantly preaching. <laughs> yes, Becky. Have it for a moment and then let it go. Let it go. You know, but if you say, oh, what is yeah, this? Don't let him. Oh, man, it's really bothering me over and over. And I've done that a million times where you just like. If the way they it. are is affecting your mood, they win. They win. They win. And you are not doing good things with yourself. No. You've and got to let that go. Yeah. You literally. And I've been just as guilty of it too. Oh, like yeah, I've yeah. let someone else. Overtake totally, your time. Yeah. What they were doing or what they said or whatever totally overtook my mood. And I was well, like. Well, I think a lot of people do that. They do it with exes friends and social media you yeah, can when i used to stalk your ex-girlfriend it would make me so <laughs> mad so <laughs> and then i realized i just what got do do? and i would just tell you like what are you doing <laughs> like she's has a nice family i don't even know i've never t- i haven't talked to her <laughs> like, um but you don't luckily do that anymore you don't, you don't I don't think so. Maybe no. I know you do. You still Sometimes check her. I'll check in on her. Just <laughs> like, see what she's doing. No, nope, still doing better than that bitch. <laughs> no, just making sure she's still married with a kid, not trying to come back to you. Yeah, look, I have a, I have a magnetic power. <laughs> Women love me. So that's the stroke of the funny bone. Women just, just they love it. They love it. That's how I got you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You dated all these douchebags before all the douchebags and then i barely saw, dated people <laughs> well i with- found her when she was 13 i bought her from a <laughs> texas gambler i mean hey carlos it's me are you still interested in buying a uh, 13 year old pretty real pretty blonde girl if so send me a send me a money order and i'll i'll have her ready for you that was a voicemail 
That's so gross. That right? You're even pretending that. Look, I can go to some crazy places. <laughs> you really? Can. I can go to some crazy. When I get into a character, it just goes. It just goes. I know. So the some of the things slime bag says, slime bag hey, Sammy. Hey, it's me, slime bag. Thank you for bringing me in. I'm like a vampire. I can't get in here until I'm invited. And thank you, Megan, because man, your titties are rocking. <laughs> See you in Daytona. <laughs> Slime bag. slime bag, dude. Get the fuck out of your slime the bag. the fuck out? That's my wife. Hey, hit it good. What the fuck? Say me in Daytona. <laughs> he lives in Daytona. He's a dirt bag. Dirty, dirty dog. He's a dirty, dirty dog. Um, so We hope you guys enjoyed this first Meglos back. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pee. Our nanny that we're about oh, to. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to relieve her. We got to wrap it up. She's got to go. And then I'm going to get to edit in this sucker. Um, We're excited to be back. And I know this episode was kind of all over the place. But I liked it. It was fun. And that's part of Meglos. I mean, yeah, we're um, just kind of all over the place. Sometimes we're going to answer random questions because people do send us emails and random questions that they ask us. And if you ever have a question that you want to ask us that we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Send it to uh, to the top Carlos on Instagram. Yeah. Or, or me, Megan Navarro, on Instagram. And uh, yeah, sometimes we're going to go live. We're going to try and sure. go live maybe like once a month like we mm-hmm. used to go live. Our pool light's fixed for yeah. those of you who have been OG Megalos. And if you're an OG Megalo, please leave a comment below. Please leave a comment. We know who all you are. And uh, and we hope that this is like the be- not the beginning, but the continuation of something really special. That, yeah. Um, the that we, we that, that Honestly, while even doing this right now, um, even though we've done other stuff, right? Like this right. has a different feel, not only for like for us talking and communicating with you guys out there and connecting with you guys, but like me personally as a husband uh to to you know to to my wife here it's a very interesting thing to like be able to talk about this stuff in this kind of realm you know Mm -hmm. and i think it's helpful for uh people couples yeah people that are married i think uh, to be able to see a couple that's been together for as long as we have going on i mean we've been together almost three months and uh, we're working on four months and we've been uh, together for 15 years so to hear a couple that's been together for 15 years communicate the way that we do have fun yeah. laugh but go deep sometimes yeah yeah i hope so that's the goal that's you know. honestly what we're trying to do is just uh really entertain uplift and uh and i hope you guys had fun i really do we did and uh we hope that you have a wonderful day tomorrow because tomorrow will be a great day to the top Never stop. (laughs) Bye. (laughs)